There are three key probability terms, joint, unconditional, and conditional. My previous video took a long tour through the construction of them under a scenario. They're important, so I wanted to briefly summarize those three terms using two variables. Bond, we'll say, is denoted B, and the bond can either be upgraded, no change, or downgrade. So I've just assumed a random variable with three possible outcomes. And then let's say that the stocks can either outperform or underperform. So that's a random variable with only two outcomes. Three times two is six. So there are six joint possible outcomes. And in the white space here, this is a probability matrix by definition because these are joint probabilities. So for example, the 15%, we could write that as the joint probability, right, that the bond upgrades, I'll use up arrow for that, comma, the stock outperforms, S equals U. And we can see that that cell is 15%. That's supposed to be an equal sign. 15% is the joint probability. And so the key with the joint probability is that it's the keyword is and, not or. These jointly happen, this joint outcome occurs with a probability of 15%. Similarly, for example, at the 20%, the joint probability that the bond downgrades and the stock underperforms. So these joint probabilities are mutually exclusive. And as a probability matrix, that means their sum must be 100%. So you got that noted here in the title. So that's the joint probability. The unconditional probability for in the case of the stock, for example, if we take the unconditional probability that the stock outperforms, that is just the sum of this column, which is 50%. The unconditional probability that the stock underperforms is the sum of this column, which is 50%. And so we say that's the unconditional probability, for example, that the stock outperforms because Regardless of whether we end up here, here, or here, in any of these three cells jointly, in each of those cases, the stock is outperforming. So this unconditional probability is indifferent to the outcome of the bond. Similarly, we can have the unconditional probability that the bond upgrades. That's the sum of this row. 15% plus 5% is the unconditional probability that the bond upgrades because if we end up in either of these two outcomes, regardless of which one it is for the stock, the bond is gonna upgrade. So the unconditional probability that the bond upgrades is 20%. The unconditional probability that the bond has no change is 55%, the sum of these two. And the unconditional probability that the bond downgrades is 25%. So these are unconditional probabilities then for the bond, they also must sum to 100%, 20, 55, 25. That's a probability for the bond, so it must, all probabilities need to sum to 100%, just like the unconditional probabilities for the stock needs to sum to 100%. So we have joint probabilities in the matrix and the inner square, unconditional probabilities, also called marginal probabilities, that are outside here at the margin, so to speak. So the that only leaves the conditional probabilities, which we use the vertical bar to denote that. And for example, right here, we have the probability that the bond upgrades conditional on the stock outperforming. And so that is given to us by we take the joint probability that the bond upgrades and outperforms, 15%, and we divide it by the unconditional probability that the stock outperforms, 50%. And that equals the conditional probability of 30%, and we could put this another way, the probability that the bond upgrades in the event that the stock outperforms. Similarly, over here, for example, for the 10%, the probability that the bond upgrades in the event that the stock underperforms, and that's given by 
5% divided by 50%. So that's the conditional probabilities. Joint, so we have joint inside the matrix, unconditional probabilities at the margin, and then we can infer the conditional probabilities just dividing, which is dividing a joint probability by the appropriate unconditional probability, right? That's how I would say that. Conditional equals joint divided by unconditional. And these conditional probabilities, notice here, sum to 100%. These conditional probabilities here, sum to 100%. So I hope that's a helpful summary.